Right, Luke. Hi, mate. Leo, you know, VIP boxing. Uh, just come down to chat about your fight on the 11th in coin. Yeah. Who are you fighting, mate? I've got, uh, is it Phil Mitchell? Uh, Mitch Mitchell, is it? Mitch Mitchell, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm doing a six rounder on the 11th of April. Yeah. I just uh, can't wait to get back in there now. And how do you feel, you know, obviously, you know, your last time out with uh, Rocky, you didn't go the way you wanted it to go? Yeah, I was devastated. I, uh, fair play to Rocky, I just got tagged the first round. Yeah. Coming off the ropes, uh, he, he spun off and caught my rear left up. When I spun round to face him, he just tagged me and uh, basically I was gone. Yeah. Like, uh, I actually thought the ref pulled him off me for some reason and like I fell against the rope, spun round and he just caught me with a beautiful left hook and uh, yeah the fight was over, got stopped. Just one of them things, I got caught in the first round, a bit cold. Yeah. Uh, but fair play to Rocky, he's a good lad and he's improving and I think he's underrated as well. Uh, he's not looked that good in some of his fights but like when he stepped up against me he didn't make that many mistakes, he looked good. As we were saying before, you know, he's yeah. done all his learning in front of the TV camera, really, yeah. hasn't he? Because when he won the prize fight, it's sort of like put him up into a bracket. That's that perhaps he might not have been ready for, yeah. but he has rules to it on every occasion, hasn't he? Yeah, of course, yeah. And it was my like biggest fight in the UK. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't actually, like, I took that. Well, we both took the fight a couple of days' notice, but like I, uh, I sparred on the Thursday and then I fought on the Saturday, I think it were. Yeah. So like it wasn't planned, but like I, that's no like excuse. But like we did both take the fight a couple of days' notice. I was supposed to fight Paul Smith. Um, obviously Paul Smith pulled out and they ended up fighting Rocky, but that's well. the way it I goes. Mean, yeah. I was looking at your record. Like I say, you've been a pro just over three years now. And uh, you know you've shot round the rankings there, uh, and you yeah. come from no amateur background. It was uh, mixed martial arts, a bit of mixed martial arts, was it? And, yeah, and a bit it, of yeah. white collar boxing. Yeah, like I've uh, had 18 in three years, but I basically fought on the weight shows a lot of time, yeah. and uh, a few home shows as well. Well, you, you lost a close decision to the, the European Youth Champion now. Yeah, at light heavyweight yeah. as well, which is way above. Yeah, they changed my opponent. I was supposed to fight someone else, and they changed my opponent. So I fought him for a youth world title, yeah. and they said I lost it by a round or two. But I, to be honest, I thought I won that. Yeah. And that was my first loss, and then, like I say, I got beat to Rocky Fielding. Yeah. Well, uh, it's like you say, it can happen in Sam. But yeah. You know, you, you seem like you're learning from every fight now. Yeah, um, that's it. Give I, you. Yeah. You, you know, you want to get back there now, don't you? Yeah, I just want. I'll probably just take a step back now. Fighting a few home shows, and then maybe fight for, try and fight for the English at the end of the year, yeah. or round about August time. Yeah. Well, as I've been saying to you, you know, I've been going around to a few of the gyms. There's no easy weights, no, is it? In British boxing. Yeah. You know, you get in the top ten of any of our weights. Yeah. And you know, you, you know, you're in the top ten of Europe, and a few of the top ones are in the top ten of, of the world now. Like I said, I were in top ten in like first year being pro because I beat. Uh, Mad Larson in Denmark, that was my first fight abroad. Yeah. I went to Denmark, fought Mad Larson and I beat him. Stopped him in fourth round and then I shot up in top ten straight away. Yeah. So like he had... Uh, oh, you in the deep end a little bit too yeah. soon maybe. Yeah, so then I just like jumped the queue. Like yeah. I got a British title fight and European. Yeah, so I really should have like took a still step back and then built yeah. myself up. And, uh, but yeah, like, I'm only 23 and... Uh, that's what I'm going to do now. Yeah, try and get an English title fight and then just go from there. Yeah, just take it step by step now, yeah. get back up to where you were. But this time, you're ready for yeah. it. Yeah, I'll have a proper training camp before the title fight. Yes. Because I've had training camps, but like I say, my uh, opponent's always been changed. Mm. My two losses, what I've had, my opponent's been flipped a week, two weeks before. So. Yeah. Yeah, so... Right, well, Luke, you a different one to watch out for, mate. And we'll, look, uh, we'll be chatting to you, hopefully, with a win behind your name when you've boxed up in coin. In, is it 11th, did you say? Yeah, 11th of yeah. April, yeah. All right, mate, take care. Nice See one. See you later, Luke. Bye.